You've seen it. You know how to do it. Yeah. Go for it. All right. Your shield is super useful. Whoa. What the heck? No, fight him. Fight him. Let's see what happens. What is this? Hold up. No. Whoa. What? Whoa. What is going on? Greetings, mortals. Brenda Barlow here, and I got my buddy Grizzly. Go on, Grizzly. Right. Onward to the blacksmith. Let's do this. To the plus 10 Claymore. Win the game. I've already ring both of the bells. Yeah, you're basically what I would call now 20% through the game. Oh, so that was only 5%. It's 15 to ring the first bell. No, it's 10 to ring the first bell. It's 15 to kill the capper. It's 20 to get the quail on. That's what I basically call it. Uh, Cause then you got Sin's Fortress and in Orlando. Uh, no, I wouldn't say that actually. Actually, I'd say you're more. Yeah, you're more close to 30% at this point. Yeah, you're more close to 30%. Um, because now you're almost at an Orlando, which is the 50% mark. Um, because once you get through Sin's Fortress, that gets you to Orlando. You got all the Orlando stuff, and then you're once you kill that boss, you're 50%. So, um, yeah, I'd say 30. I'd say you're at 30% right now, 30% through the game right here. There's a lot in it, ain't there? Yeah. <laughs> You've basically played a whole other game, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. In each area. You're not <laughs> wrong. And now you're going through this, and you're going to probably get toxic and going up this next ladder, because don't get hit by those right there. That's toxic. What's toxic do? You're watching it. Look at your health. Going up the ladder. I... All right. Wow. So your Quaylog summon was the, using the Zwei Hanner, and someone summoned you with the Gargoyles using a Black Knight Halberd. Man, if we could have got the Black Knight Halberd, that would have been awesome. Pay attention to that health. I can't drink. I was I was spamming it the whole time. As soon as I killed him, I just pressed. You shouldn't be allowed to die during an animation. Oh, yeah, you sh totally should. Not while you're drinking. Oh, you weren't drinking at the time. I mean, you were pushing the button, but your character wasn't currently in the animation of drink. You're not wrong. That, that flash never touched them lips, baby. Poison ain't so bad, but you saw how quick Toxic dropped you. Well, yeah. I could have completely avoided that guy as well. Real quick. What's up? You could always equip armor that stops Toxic. Or not stops it, but like makes it harder. Oh. <laughs> Touch them lips. That's right, Dumbling. Might as well drink here, right? Mm. Touch, touch. I'm dead. <laughs> what, did I, what did I tell you at the chest set? I set up a little rook, and I put another rook on top of it, and I put a rook in front of them, and then I took a pawn, and I said, this is you. Going down Blight Town is going to be really, really, really easy. It's easy to go down Blight Town. It's the going up that is the hard part. Laughs and gold hemmed. <laughs> He still didn't put the armor on. No, I mean, that right there was just straight fall damage. That was no, but I mean, like, you wouldn't have been poisoned right now. Go put, oh. your, put your black leather on, man. No, I mean... Put the whole set of black leather on. Just thief helmet. Thief helmet. Helmet. There you go. Now see how much bigger your poison meter is? So you're less likely to get poisoned. This also helps with toxic. I think it'll take two shots of toxic you now, instead of just instant toxic. Mm -hmm. So you, can, you might have a chance to go up that, uh, go up that now. What is up with Brimth Lull right now? That's so weird. <laughs> how did that happen? Oh, the copy and paste with no spaces. I see what's going on. 
Check it out. I've I've got my my stream deck all all set up here, and with with one button I can I can push it and it'll put the, the social information, and I can also hit the high button and it spams highs to say what's up to everybody. And I may have accidentally just ran an ad. <laughs> so. But yeah, this this uh, this episode is literally just going to be getting out of blight. <laughs> Hydrate water chug. Oh, hey. All right. So. Where's mine? It's up there. Yeah, I'll get it. Give me just one second on the chug. I'm not. Uh, I would have loved to see you do the chug. <laughs> and little did Webby know that we would be chugging together. Hmm. <laughs> so on his death, we'll do the uh, the water chug. That way, he's not like having to chug while playing the game. I'm safe here. So I'm down. I'm down here. Uh, Go on up. Go up some ladders. Keep going. If you die or make it to the top, we'll do the chug. All right. But I got to fill up these waters, so. Hey, Smish the Fish cheered. Thank you for the biddies. Thank you so much for the biddies. Oh, dude, where am I? You went the wrong way. I don't know why you went there. I didn't know which way to go. Thank you for the biddies. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies. Bits. Oh, Money. I don't even know what those are. <laughs> I gave us some biddies. All right. Trying not to make a mess here. That's good enough. There as you go. made a mess. All right. Step back away from the mic so we don't spread it all over there. Sit up so that you don't spill it all over yourself and all that kind of jazz and make even more of a mess. Thank you, um, Twitch Webby. Thank you for adminning on our Discord and all that kind of stuff. Thank you for the water chug. This is for you. Let's give it a little clink, I guess. Oh, we're not doing the... We're doing the chug. We're not putting it on the table first, no? No, you don't have oh, to do that to do a okay. chug. You just got to suck it down when we say go. All right. Go. You got, all you got all over <laughs> you, man. We're good. He poured half of it down his freaking shirt. <laughs> I knew he would do that. I did not do that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Orange and yellow. Hey, Dumpling got it. <laughs> it's all over you, man. You poured like half of it down your freaking shirt. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what I'm used to. There you go. That's the... Wipe, wipe some of the habanero on your face there. It was very, it was a very <laughs> open bottle because we. it was a can or whatever. <laughs> okay, what am I doing again? Oh yeah, getting out. Getting of out of Blight Town. We uh, <laughs> he watched that spill. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, I'm hoping somebody ends up redeeming the boot chug one day because I've got this uh right here. Genuine Warsteiner boots, and uh, that's going to be a big chug. And uh, I haven't done it in a while, so that'll be one that's going to be a, a quite strong. That's the one I was hoping they were going to do. No refund red. We don't refund red, baby. Red don't exist. I'm like a bull. It angers me. All right. You guys ready? Why do you do that? If you just wait for the elevator. Mm. <laughs> Risky death. Um... <laughs> So one of the things that um, is going to end up happening is I've, I've still got to make a button. I got to make like a, maybe like a hey dumpling. Like it doesn't have to be super good or anything, but can you like make a a, a no red or, or no refund red like little graphic for me? Would you would you would you would you do that for me, please? Maybe I would I would love something like that. That would be so dope. I need I need like. No refund red is like a little image to use. Where am I? You need to go up that ladder back there. You're you're at the way up right there. Blue green. 
Hey, blue green's one of my favorite ones right there. 1.4k like points is is really dope. 100, percent you know, like you're getting up there. There are lots of lots of good goodies that come up pretty soon from there. What I got it at 3,500. That's that's appropriate because the boot's hard. The boot is not not an easy chug. Go up that ladder. Or yeah. on the other side of it. I was so confused. I was like, what? There's a ladder there. <laughs> and there's another ladder here. Drink. Because you're about to get some more bugs and stuff. Alrighty. As like an alert when it happens. This way? Yeah, no, just an, just I just need like an image. And then like I'm going to set it up with my stream deck to be a button. And I just hit it and it's going to pop up and be like kind of a manual alert. Maybe even like record my voice with it or whatever. You can run oh. past all of these if you don't die. Drink. They also run, so you got to be quick. Got to be fast as a course in the river. <laughs> and then you're going to turn right. You're going to go across the bridge. And then you're going to go left. And you're going to go back towards the, the elevator. Shrine. You know how to get there from here? No, I don't. Yeah, the blackout's going to be an interesting one, so cross the bridge really carefully without falling. Is there anything interesting down that way? Do you want to die and go back to the bonfire? No. All right, go that way. Go to the firelink shrine first. I didn't first. know if there was any like uh, shards. Color swatches that you use? What do you mean? I don't know what that what is. What is this? Disasters are gone to Don't worry about those. Go mode. up and to the elevator. The elevator's currently down, so don't just run in there and die. You have to pull the lever and wait for the elevator. So we sent it back up, remember? Oh, yes. Helping them out. That way we don't have to, like, take Do too much all. more time. <laughs> oh, wow. I just really... <laughs> I was, like, staring right at the... Right there at it. Okay, then here's what, we're, what I want you to do. I want you to go back to the blacksmith, okay? Blacksmith. But I want you to fight some of the enemies on the way. So I want you to see how much better at the game you've improved. Okay. Okay. Why did I? Okay. Just go on. Send me the numbers of, of the colors you use so I can make alert more on brand. Send me the numbers of the colors you use. Oh, like my alphabet and my numbers that I have? Are you saying those? I guess I'm... No, I can do that. I can make the... With my alphabet. That's a good point. Uh, and I would probably want to do purple. Because I, I don't want the... I guess I don't want the alert to be red either. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I see what you're saying. I don't really have a specific hex code. Like, uh, not really everything matches on my side. Like, if you really, like, take a fine tooth comb and look at it. It's just neon purple, basically, and neon green and neon blue. Um, but I'll 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 uh, grab some hex codes and show it. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Um, I'd have to check in on it. But like, watch how fast he goes through these enemies. Like, when he first started playing this game, these enemies were like giving him trouble, slowing him down, and now he's just like powering through every one of them. Um, this isn't the fastest way. No, it's not. Well, well, then just turn around. And we'll go to the right. Um, to the right. And, uh, you know, now he's, like, going through here. I mean, he's still got goldfish memory of where he's at. Oh, yeah, for sure. But uh, none of these enemies should be giving him any more problems because he, he now knows the game. He's, he's fought bosses and beat the Capra Demon, and, like, he shouldn't struggle with pretty much anything going through here from this point on. Uh, I figure he knew positioning of his weapon by now. No. <laughs> yeah, Brim's Nethy. Yeah. Yeah, Blackout is going to be an interesting one because it really does... It's really going to affect my YouTube videos because, like... It's going to be really hard to see me, but, like, you'll still be able to see me. Because, like, it's going to turn off everything. <laughs> um, where do I Back that way. go? Where are oh. you going? 
I have no clue where I'm supposed to be going. Turn around. Where are you? Why are you going this way? Because you told me to go this no, way. No, I didn't. Go what back way? to where you just were. Go just back to where you were when you were like, I don't know where I'm at. Turn right. Go back up there. Okay. Go right. That's where uh, he You've was like. Been through here. He was I don't like, know how many go out. Times. I was like, okay. This is I'll where the dragon out. dropped down. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's already forgotten where he is. Should have done it with the FNAF VR one. Um, it's not instant. Uh, the lights behind me. Yeah, none of it's instant. I have to manually hit everything to have it happen. So it wouldn't like it wouldn't jump scare me. Um. The better things to do with the FNAF VR is down in the about, there's a sticker place and there's these 500 bit um, stickers that I have that have a jump scare sound effect. And they're like, they they are really loud in our headphones. And if you time it right, you can get some really, really, really good moments. And I have some clips of some of those jump scare ones. In fact, one of them, go up the ladder. Uh, one of them actually has jump scared cast or die set at the bonfire so you don't have to go all the way back. Um, one of them, Caster Die, was watching one of my clips and got jump scared from it. Xanfer loves them. He 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 buys those friggin' stickers often just because like the reactions are great. Those are the ones that can can really catch me off guard, especially in the in the horror games and stuff. Up above. You know where you're going, right? Yeah, I'm going to the guy, but I. What is this? Ain't there a way to get there Go without? Go to the blacksmith. If you want to wait on the dragon or if you want to go through the rats and get there easier, it's up to you. I'm going to go through the rats because the dragon is, you know, a dragon. So now we're back to fighting these guys again. I doubt I'll be able to fight a dragon. And yes, RBK, I know that there was a faster shortcut, but I'm letting him decide his directions and stuff. And he picked the longest direction to go. So it is what it is. He's probably just forgotten about the elevator at Fire Link Grind. Leads oh, all the way I back. actually did. Leads all the way back to the church. Which is where the blacksmith is. <laughs> but hey, this is good practice for him. <laughs> yeah, practice. That's what I'm going for. But look how much easier you're going through each one of these fights. You know, like all of these, even those guys on the bridge right there gave you struggles when you first started this game. And now you're just like plowing through them. I want you to sit down at the dragon's bonfire, and I want you to kill the dark knight that's up uh, at the top of this tower. Alright. You have the damage, you have the ability, you have the skill. Go all, and, and uh, you, you can sit, you're just you're waiting for the dragon to disappear. Or, uh, it's suggesting that there's an enemy nearby. I don't know why it's doing that. These don't count. Uh, just parry. Just parry. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There you go. Uh, just parry the Dark Knight. Yeah, all right. Um, go up the staircase here. Okay. Uh, turn right. Go up the staircase that's in that tower to get to the Dark Knight that's up the top. Okay. This one. Now you got him on your side. Kill him. There you go. Uh, don't stand on the stairs. Go up there with him and dance with him at the top. Okay. Don't let him dead angle you on the stairs because you're hesitant of getting up there with him. Walk on. You can block his attack. Shit. That's what I was trying to tell you about right there. Drink. All right. Dance with him. Pretend he's the Capra Demon. Block his attacks. Try to get those backstabs. It is better to be behind him. Oh my... One of your problems that you have right now is spamming a button and just expecting it to happen and you're causing multiple inputs to happen, you want to press it when you know it's going to work. 
And that's something you're going to have to practice with this guy because he's going to teach you that beat. And just go right up there, lock on to him, go behind him and get a backstab. I forgot Constantly how to do a backstab. Be behind him and stab him with R1. Like that. Now stay behind him. Stay locked on to him. Don't spam your buttons. Drink. When he has slow attacks like that. Only drink once. Keep practicing. There's a bonfire right there. It's fast to get up here. How many souls is this guy giving me? Not many, but there's a chance he gives you his weapon, and his weapon is super good. There's also a chance he gives you his shield, and his shield is super good. Uh, is that the, the Dark Knight, whatever, that y'all were talking about earlier? This is the one of them. Yeah. There's one down in Undeadburg as well. Oh. Um, with a normal sword. But this guy has a strength great sword. There you go. But I keep falling when I do that. There you go. Now... You just need to do one more backstab. It's like two backstabs to kill him now because of your weapon. And that guy followed me up. I don't know. You're taking what? too wide of a stance to get into here is why. Yeah, he just golf swinged you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I always say that you should do a face cam. Face cam should be done for pretty much every single streamer, in my opinion. Um... You know, we want to, your stream is you. It, everything you do when you're streaming on Twitch, you are your brand. You know, uh, a lot of people, they want to say, you know, I'm playing it because the game, the game is what's interesting, you know. But at the end of the day, like, you are the content. You are the entertainment. You are your brand. And if we can see your reactions, we can see your expressions, we can see, you know, what's going on, you know, if you're miserable like he is, or if you're excited like I am, you know, that's the, that's the difference. How did he get me from down there? The, this is the, this is one of them that I want to bring up to you, of the, of the slight inaccuracies that's going to hurt you late game. So, he was down below you, right? Mm -hmm. And you were like half an HP away from dying. You then proceeded to try to attack him instead of backing away from him and drinking because he's in a place where he has to go upstairs. So he has to move to get to you. You have time to drink, get back to full HP and get back into the dance. But instead of doing that, you try to attack him in an un, in a compromised position. And that's what got him to kill you. Also, this guy is broken. You see this? All right. Now I will go upstairs and he will be here in about... A couple minutes. Yeah, most likely. And you don't have to roll with this guy. You just have to block and circle around him. Put your shield up. Circle behind him. Keep your shield up until the attack happens. Let me just let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay. It's okay. This is a learning experience. <sighs> these guys are someone that you need to learn because you're going to be fighting more and more enemies like these guys and if he's giving you troubles just go ahead and kill him like it's fast just get rid of him then he's never an issue right yeah so once you get up here immediately lock on to him as soon as you get in here put your shield up and get right close to him and look at this How much danger am I in? Not much, but that's because he's slow. Now watch, backstab. That's fair. Locked onto him, I'll back up. He's slow, he has his shield up. I just kite around him, I can block it. Kite around him, he'll miss. I can block that attack, I can block that attack. Have my shield up, I can block that attack. Block. That's a shield break for him. Block. Golf swing. Shield attack. There you go. Skip. Two backstab. 
fair. All right. You've seen it. You know how to do it. Yeah. Go for it. All right. Your shield is super useful. Whoa. What the heck? No, fight him. Fight him. Let's see what happens. What is this? Hold up. No. Whoa. What? Whoa. What is going on? RBK. RBK. Look at this. What is this? What? I. We. He. I. You still can fight him the same way. Like, it doesn't matter where you are. You know what I'm saying? You still have HP. You're not dead. He can't walk through those doors, I don't think. Just drink. You're in a safe place. Drink. Drink. Well, yeah. Get right up on it. Keep your shield up. Let go in between attack. Don't let him get you stuck on a wall. Good try. That was weird. I don't know why he's down here. I don't either. He... Look where he is. Uh, I went up. I showed him how to fight him. We ran up here to kill the hollow. And he dropped down from the tower. He, he just... He fell down from the tower. He fell down to here. He didn't walk down the stairs. He jumped off of this down to where we're at. Like, that is, that is something I'm going to have to clip and, like, figure out. Because that was way crazy. Yeah, I think it has something to do with, like, I fought him, ran down to the bonfire, and then something happened. He maybe was, like, still aggro on us or something. There you go, closer. That's almost a backstab right there. It's somewhere between his right shoulder and his back where you want to do the... Uh, that's also left shoulder. Both, it applies to both. But that's the staircase thing I was warning you about because he will smash you in the staircase every day. The staircase is not safe. I, I want to get him in an open area, but this area isn't very open. That is open. very open. No, not I very. just showed you how open it was. No, you was right on top of him. That's exactly. not open. That's that's what you need to do, too. But yeah, he dropped down from the top down to where we were at. That was insane. He's aggroed. No, he's not. I just heard something else, I guess. That was a good roll. That was a very, very good roll. There you go. There's the backstab. Here we go. Back up. Back up. Drink. While he's staggered. Lock onto him. There you go. There you go. You got this. Smish is rooting for you. Yeah, he's got some combos that he does if you're if you're you know in his range of effect if you're right on top of him he doesn't do that many attacks closer stay right on him like rub your body up against him and skirt around him and just shimmy shimmy around Usually stick to a counterclockwise or going to your right. So you that guy's going to be coming back up. I don't know my left or my right. Yeah. Counterclockwise. Okay. I don't know clocks either. <laughs> That's counterclockwise. Keep, it good. Keep going like that. I think you'll get him on this next one right here. Yeah, there you go. Walk onto him. Hey, there it is. There's the double backstab. You just have to hit him one time. Beatrice does do a lot of massive damage um, now in the remaster. Pick up your souls. Um, so you didn't get lucky, but you got a chunk off of him, and the chunks are just as important. So let's finish up. We'll head on over to the blacksmith.
Alrighty. It was just a chance for mm. his weapon and shield. Um, but over. a chunk is also important because a chunk will get you up to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. 15 is the max of the game. But we got to go down into the New Londo ruins and everything. I forgot. I can run right through here, right? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, they're going to follow you, but... But it ain't that big because... No, it's not bad at all. Here, right? It's up to you how you want to handle it. You don't necessarily have to have the black leather armor on anymore because poison's not around, but you're also in the middle of fighting stuff, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. You can unlock off of those and just run for the... I'd just run for the bonfire man at the black stuff. They're going to follow you. You may have to kill them when you get down to the bonfire. Don't lure them to the blacksmith because you don't want him to get killed. Okay. Where's the bonfire? Come on. You know this area. Not You've very been well, here. Let's be honest. And see if you can sit. Yay. All right. So um, run on down to the blacksmith and let's get this to a plus uh, nine claymore. But I have the chunk. You can't get it to plus 10 without the very large ember. Why, that's a fine ember you so you're giving him that large ember from the butcher so that he can upgrade your stuff to 10. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and we already have the large Steinite shard, so we'll just go ahead and get it upgraded. And then what I want you to do is go fight some Balder Knights and just see the difference in, in how it goes. Oh, I hate to hear that, Smish. That's rough. His iPod rolled off his bed, and now the screen's cracked. I can't even find my... You need to go back. Go to modify equipment. Play more plus five. Go to play play more plus six. Hit exit back. Go to reinforce weapon. Go down to play more and upgrade to plus nine. And basically, um, with one more upgrade, you have a weapon that can literally just go and beat the game. Oh, you need more than what we thought. Uh, you need two more large Titanites to get up there. You still have a plus eight. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, and then just to show how much more damage you got. Actually, go fight the go go fight the Titan dude down here. Yeah. Now you know bosses. You've played. This this brings us full circle to the to the first episode of the day. Let's see how much better you do against him now that you have some new stuff. Oh, he on. actually stood up. Okay. He jumped. And you just lock on, man. Lock on and use your shield. It does 201 damage to him. Drink. All right. Let's see how this goes. Don't use R2, man. R1 is so much better for fighting. <laughs> I'm gonna have to disable that button so you just can't use it. <laughs> I might actually be able to kill him. I, th I know you can. You just gotta use your stamina good and do everything you've learned from Quaylog, Capra Demon, the Butchers, all the, all the people you fought. Every boss you fought, like, apply it. You know, the the knight that you just fought, stay behind it. You know, be close to it so you can deal damage. All that good stuff. Block when it attacks. Don't attack it too many times because you need the stamina to block its attack. Or you get hit like that. <laughs> that is a 411 damage. Careful, he does have a grab move, kind of like how I got grabbed by that one thing. Mm -hmm. And he can kill you. That's the grab right there. I think you've got this. So like two more attacks, possibly just one. Or one. Now. Yeah. Yeah. That was three away. Three or four. Oh, I didn't even need to do that. 
<laughs> habit. Of course I have it. You got in a safe area and you just drink. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Shows you're learning. Oh. What is happening here? Uh, he got... Like, his model got skewed somehow. That's weird. Demon Titanite for the demon weapon. Nice. <laughs> What's this look like? Um, that is towards the uh, forest. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff in the forest. There's um, another Black just, Knight. And, hello. Um, but we'll go search these places later. Um, Alrighty. You know, head on over to the bonfire and we'll finish this episode and call it a day. I want to say thank you to everybody that hung out with us on the stream here. Um, I don't get my nephew very often, so I try to spend as much time with him as I can. And we try to play some Dark Souls and do all this other shenanigans. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get you back here and we can get to Anne Orlando and go through Sin's Fortress and you can have your experience there. Um, if we don't get time to gather anytime soon before these episodes finish off, um, I do soul level one runs where I catch up to him. Hey, I love that mask. Check that out. How creepy that looks. Um, I do soul level one runs to catch up with him where I only do the things that he did through this. So check those out. Um, sit down at the bonfire and exit game. Quick game. Alrighty. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. Give it up for Brim. Or Brim, I called you me. <laughs> Give it up for Bjorn. Yeah. All right. How 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 was it for you this time? Uh, wasn't as bad. You definitely have improved. You oh, yeah. killed several bosses today. Capper Demon, Quaylog, the the mini bosses like the Butcher, the uh, Titanite Demon dude down here. The big rat. The big rat. Um, you went through the depths. You got cursed. You left. You left the depths. You got uncursed. <laughs> you've 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 been through a lot in this little series just right here. So this was awesome. Yeah, it was pretty you fun. Know, had some fun unboxings and that kind of thing. And now I gotta take you back. So you know, thank you everybody for watching. Stay tuned for more. Tomorrow is a Magic the Gathering booster pack draft with Xanfer, Nance, and one other friend that we have. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. Peace. Bye.